visible. Uh, I see you looking at me, looking at you. Hold up, where you going? What you doing? Who you seeing? What you need? What you want? I said, without you by my side, my side, my side. Without you by my side One time, one time From side to side Without you by my side I can't go outside Without you by my side I can't go outside Without you by my side I can't go outside Hello, hello, hello. It is another wonderful evening here with me, and I'm streaming. First off, thanks for joining me. If you're joining me from YouTube or Twitch or Twitter or Facebook or whatever the hell it is that you're watching me from, if you're watching before or after the fact, hello. And I am clearly way more full of energy than I was yesterday. If you saw yesterday's stream, I was totally fucked up. I was exhausted. But I streamed anyway because I really wanted to work on some stuff. So here we are. And today uh, I will be streaming some art at 8 o'clock. Or maybe sometime after 8 o'clock after I finish this run through of Mortuary Assistant. So if you want to hang out the whole time, cool. If not, then that's fine too. But I am blasted full of energy and I am ready to fucking go. So here we go. First thing is first, I would like to thank a certain person for doing something absolutely fabulous for me. This person is named Momo Jen and she created this cute little cat in the corner there. The little cat is a representation of smoke and I think she did an excellent job at her. She is just the cutest little thing that you ever could imagine. She's just so cute. She's just so cute. Look at her little face and her little nose. Also, as you can see, Baby is very festive today. She's definitely ready for the holiday season. And on top of that, um, actually, that's it. That's it. There's nothing else to it. Look at her hat. Look at her hat. Beep poop. Be little hat moving. Uh, <laughs> and also with that, um, I also want to show this is Momo Jin's mission list and her website up here, which I also have under my credit section on my profile of twitch and yeah so check them out because they're really super awesome and they're really really nice and super easy to work with and i just thought that i would give credit where credit is due for this awesome little art that they made of smoke down here in the corner so hoot smoke there she is smoke's here with us obviously smoke is here with us and that being said, why don't we go ahead and get started with the game? Apparently there was an update and I saw some screenshots of the game update and I'm really excited to play through this and see Kevin with the little tiny hat. Very excited to see that. Hope everyone had an awesome Friday. I had a great relaxing Friday. Slept in because I didn't have to go into the office. Took my little dog to the park and of course i did work stuff and then i've got more work stuff to do so i'm gonna be getting some overtime which is great because i love overtime smoke also loves overtime are you smoking she does she said yes and i've already gotten all five endings which i'm very 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 proud of 
it was a lot of fun going through it and i think everybody was here with me while i was playing the game so either way that is a little loud so i'm gonna tone that down a tad there we go smoking yeah she's up here hanging out with us so why don't we continue continue our shifts we're on shift what 11 so I do follow Brian's Twitter and he was posting updates and I also follow his Twitch too and watching him work on the game. And I was like, oh, wow, that's so cool. It's still cool that only one person made this game. <laughs> Gotta have my obligatory drop the carbohydrates on the ground. a little loud for me hold up there we go oh that's oh that's definitely new okay cool that was not there before gonna grab our keys it's been a hot minute since i played it so i'm probably gonna fumble a little bit Let's see what else we're gonna knock that on the ground knock that on the ground Let's just go. Oh, turns out my neighbor that lives across the hall that bangs on the walls and shit, she actually goes to the same gym that I do. So that was interesting to run into her. Oh, look at how cute that is. I kind of like the Halloween update though. It had pumpkins in front. But I don't think I can play through that ever again until probably next Halloween. Got some uh, very disturbing fucking snowman here eyes missing some paint chipped a little bit wearing with age why isn't it snowing instead of raining and uh you know no no carrots that's all right though oh cool we got one of these things let's put that on the floor and might as well put this on the floor candy canes Oh, look, cute gift. Can I open it? No. Can't open it. That's a shame. It's not creepy at all. <laughs> Nothing weird in here? Is she wearing a Santa hat? No? All right. Well, this is a very cute little update. little nice thing here oh I don't need that definitely played the game enough not to need that <laughs> anything fun in here no let's see oh how nice It's so festive. <laughs> it's so festive for such a dreary place. That kind of adds to the creepiness a little. It's just like, oh, holiday spirit, guys. Holiday fucking spirit. And there's dead bodies. Cool. All right. I might as well make sure I know where the fuck everything is. All right. So there's my moisturizing wipes. There's my that thing. Sure, why not? Hello? Hello. Rebecca? Rebecca? Why are we getting started on this bullshit already? Just let her look around for a minute. My goodness. Okay, so that's the number I need. 082142. go ahead and do that first and then I'll go and get a body and I forgot the number awesome <sighs> I definitely could not have done this yesterday oh thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you yesterday I was way too tired to have done this 
All right, so zero, eight, two, one, four, two. All right, cool. We got our demon database ready. Now let's go and grab our first body to embalm. Okay, there's all my fun shit. There's my eye caps. Okay. I think I know where everything is. I mean, let's hope, because I didn't see all the juice. <clears throat> Dashing through these hoes. With my top down, I'm in LA. Is that really Santa? Is that really Santa? See, I saw some previews that said that he had Santa Claus. <laughs> And then I'm like, he really put Santa Claus in here? So Chris, Mr. Chris Kringle is fucking dead. D-E-D. -E Rest in pepperoni, Santa. Those jolly old red cheeks. Oh, no. Santa is dead. Don't let the kids see this. There. Okay, Santa, you're my first body that I'm prepping. How do you think he died? He fell off a roof? Ran, trampled by a reindeer? Killed by Mrs. Claus? The blunt object to the back of the head. Oh, he's even got the polka dots. <laughs> Santa! 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 He never gave me that bike I wanted. Alright, Santa, let's see. Attacked by somebody's dog. This is actually one of those mall Santas. That's what this is. This is a mall Santa. This isn't the real Santa. I don't want to say Santa is dead. Santa's not dead. He's fine. He's immortal. Oh, okay. Where are your bruises and blemishes, Santa? You have a heart attack? Says he's got three, so... see don't see any there at that place again nothing on the hands oh there's one and I grabbed that one already And the only other place must be his face. Killed by Joe Smith when he caught his wife kissing Santa Claus. Little Timmy should have kept his mouth shut. You know what? Little Timmy was a snitch. He, Timmy was a snitch snitch. There, there was no reason for him to be all like, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe. The whole damn song he's talking about. Oh, oh I'm going to laugh when I tell Papa. What you laughing about that for, Timmy? You piece of shit. A rash on the head, an abrasion on the shoulder, and then a rash. Okay, so he didn't get out of bed all year long, and then he finally did and realized that he had some type of infection. And the infection made it to his lungs and then his heart, and then he died. That's what happened. Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, we got that. Look at the Santa. Ho, ho, ho. What you think Pretzel Daddy said when Santa came in there? He was just like, oh, shit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that. All right. So some shit shut. Eat that. And that. Okay. Forgot for a second. I was like, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Whoa, look at his chompers. 
<laughs> I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. And daddy pushed them off the roof that night. There we are. All right. Eye caps, which were over here. Remember that one playthrough where I was just looking for the eye caps and I just fucking could not find them? I was like, God damn it. And I wasted so much time and they were right there. <laughs> oh. Yo, okay, here we go doing the thing. Mr. Mr. Pretzel Daddy needs to fucking pay his goddamn electric right. bill. Mm, I didn't close the door. Oh, it's locked. Oh my God, what's about to happen? Holy shit. Oh, oh, fuck. I didn't grab her tokens. I'm supposed to have grabbed her tokens and I, damn it. Are they in here by chance? Ah, fuck. All right, well, I had a chance to get the good ending if I had grabbed her tokens and I did not, but that's okay. Definitely had a chance. I totally forgot about that. That's all right. I only needed to see that ending once. It was all fun and games until Santa clapped back with his own diss track. I saw a little Timmy not minding his own damn business. Well, little Timmy's not the one on the gurney here. Uh, embalming fluid. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. So I need... Wait, I think I already have that. I think I picked that up. No, I didn't. There we go. Need some of that. Need some of my rum chata. And a little bit of this juice. Love making cocktails. Did he move? Nah, he didn't move. And this. Is that it? Nope, I'm missing the formaldehyde. Wait, duh. What the hell? Santa's just float. All right, Santa, so you're the demon. First thing, first things first, Santa's the demon. I've gotten a lot of hauntings with Mr. Chris Kringle here. Already. Mm, okay. There it is. Hold anything else. You got all them damn pockets. <laughs> cool. All right, now. The scalpel. That's right. I did not see that over here. So maybe it's in here. Nope. In here. Nope. On the. Yes, there it is. All right. And I'm going to need that. Cut a little slice in his thick and girthy neck. I'm missing something. Oh, what am I missing? The clamps. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I need to get my letting strips to find out where the demons are. Aha! 
Oosh. No? Yes? Alright, so Ache with the teardrop. Taking a picture of that so I can keep a note. I want to see Kevin in the Santa hat. His blood should be like green. I don't know why. I don't know why his blood should be green. <laughs> or like sparkly or something. Da -da -dum. I don't need to go down there. I mean, I could. Oh, I should go down there to see if he put anything in the basement. I think I will. Oh, uh, what was the fucking code? Um, shit, I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. I know it was 4 4 at the end. Wait, I'm gonna look it up real quick. Because I just don't remember what it was. Save. Code. Ah, that's what it was. Because I want to go in the basement and see if he put anything down there. Give me that. Um, we'll just do that right now. <laughs> Why not? Why the hell not? There it is. Aw, nothing festive down here, Raymond. Corny. All right, that's fine. Oh, can't see. That's the side of the building. There we go. Okay, so... Turn off the pump. Now I need the reservoir bag. This. And that. And then I need one of my needles. Hmm. I can't use that here. Oh, there it is. In the shadow. I can't use that here. Hey, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I didn't turn off the <laughs> duh, I didn't take out the juices. I didn't take out the juicer. There we go. Now I can do that. I can't use that here. Fill it with cavity fluid. I've already done that. That's not it. Oh, I might be in the wrong spot. There we go. Let's make those squishy sounds inside Santa. Flush the toilet. Maybe it jingles. Okay, I'll do that after I finish filling his swollen belly with juice. <laughs> I can't get over that sound. So squishy. Alright, let's see. Mix the cleaners. I mean, I gotta go in that way anyway. I gotta... That was a new sound. Okay. Okay. 
Oh wait, there's a toilet. Nope, no jingling. Oh, I didn't grab a fucking container. Or were the containers in here? Da 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 da. All right, it puts the moisture on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. Santa baby, I want a yacht, and really that's not a lot. Been an angel all year, Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Oh boy. Okay. I hate when I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's the bong. Bong time. Get rid of that. Okay. All right, so we had the H. We had the bong. It puts the moisture on the soft lips, the rosy cheeks, the red nose, the forehead. And now I must take the body back. I left the door open. Any old type of crazy thing could just walk right on in here. <gasps> Fucking deer. Why did the door close behind me, though? Nobody asked the door to close behind me. Or the lights to go out. Fucking boogity boogity then walked in behind me. Unfortunately, the toilet does not jingle. All right. My money don't jingle jingle. It's gone. All right, Santa. I thought you were the demon because of all the hauntings, but I'm going to go ahead and say he's not. Why am I stupid? Oh my god. Close. Close. Oh my god. Close. There. Alright, so this is... Salas? That's a cool name. Eh. There. So festive. All right, the regular person. I am sad. One day Brian will make it so you can go and flush. Something crazy will happen. <laughs> I want to tell him that on Twitter. I'm gonna be all like, "Hey, if somebody wants demons to come out of the toilet and start beating the shit out of Rebecca just because they can." Who's laughing? Okay. Bitch. Bitch. All right. Hey, leave your sister alone. All right. <laughs> that one there.
Oh, you know what? I haven't looked up the other game that I was super excited about. Autopsy and Simulator. I'm going to look that up after this. How many he got? Oh, I'm missing one. I got that one already. Oh, it's the leg. Honestly, that would be really cool if uh, he put a fucking, like, um, something in the toilet. Just because the toilet's interactive. Haunted toilet. It over floods or something crazy. Like, there is an event in that room, which I'm surprised I haven't gotten another event yet. Okay. Oh! Hi! Ha! Ha he was just hanging up out there. He was just like, hello. Tall, sexy guy. I like that one. He's my favorite one. Kevin is not my favorite one. Kevin be creeping me the fuck out. I like that one. He can haunt me all day in this game. All right. So going back here and grabbing one of these. Stealing up those chompers. This looks like a different body. Because I know he was going to put new bodies in here. Nyum, nyum, nyum. There we are. And then the eye caps. Over here. And then the juice mixture. All right. I got time to go back to the basement. Maybe the other demon has a Santa hat on. gonna go get our rum chata here yep there was somebody there there was a thing there there was a thing there i saw a thing i'm gonna go back on the stream and i'm gonna look and i want to be like okay there was a thing there okay scalpel is over here there he is look at him what's up man what's up dude What's up, dude? I like that one. <laughs> I don't know why. When I was little, I used to have nightmares of just this big, tall, black thing like that with red eyes, just standing in the darkness in the corner. And I was just like, yo, that's my best friend right there. I told my mom about it once and she goes like, be gone, demon, in the name of Jesus. And I'm like, ma, he's my friend. <laughs> so I really, really like that one. <laughs> uh, he's like, awesome <laughs> uh let's see so now we need the tubing need that uh and i think i needed that yeah that's all right oh 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 that that skidoo pop where are we oh we're in her her drug addict kitchen that's right. Kevin does his best. All right. Kevin Kevin hasn't made an appearance yet, though. Our drug kit. Oh, there we go. This is our second haunting. There he is. Is 
daddy. <laughs> you did this to me. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> Woo! Oh boy. And get up, Rebecca. You're good. <laughs> Let's go get my letting strip and get the third symbol. Oh. No. Okay. I think I can find out what demon's name is now. I have at least three. I'll just wait for the fourth one to get up in there and actually start digging in. Draining the juice. The next thing, gauge the pump, close the incision, and fill the reservoir bag. Do that right now. Mm -hmm. Oh! Slurp, slurp, slurp. Like a juice bag. Free Sun Man. Gotta go back over here. I think the only difference between like the one that's in this one and then the one that I used to see when I was little like in my head was like it had I think he had like a hat or a cape or something crazy and I was like oh yep that's just definitely my friend I used to draw all these pictures of him and my uh school counselor or whatever not not school counselor but like the teacher that at the school that I was at it wasn't a teacher I want maybe I were a counselor I don't know what the fuck they were but either way that they pulled me aside and they were like what is this and I'm like that's my friend that's my imaginary friend and they told my mom and it was this whole thing and she was just like you leave my daughter alone it's just a phase it's been a phase <laughs> but he's my favorite one because he gets close to home I really like him I'm glad that I got him for this I wonder what his name is I'm gonna call him tall, sexy guy. All right, I'm supposed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I got discombobulated with my childhood story. All right. We got that. Now we gotta clean out our box. Kevin apparently is taking the night off because I haven't seen Kevin. And he's supposed to have a Santa hat. Speaking of Santa hats, look at look at baby's hat. It just kind of flies all over the place. Oh, Becky! Now Becky kind of scares me. Becky kind of freaks me out. It's like Becky, what do you need? All right. Oh, we vibing? Hey, hey. Oh, okay. That was only Santa, though, so maybe Santa is the demon. All right. Sounds like a perfectly reasonable childhood. Uh, yeah, of course. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. Santa, get the fuck back in your, in your fucking hole, Santa. Why are you? Even out. My God. Uh, here we go. That's not it. I got the controller and I don't know what the number, the button for the controller is, so. Santa, God damn it. Nobody told you to slide out, Santa. You are clearly the demon. Is this Brian? <laughs> One of the bodies that he has in here, I'm pretty sure is his. 
He was just like, oh, I'll just make myself a model and my adoring fans can embalm me. You know, that's what normal people say. It's like my normal childhood. Oh, wait, is he not all the way out? Hold up. No. Come on. It's not activating to grab hold of it. There it is. All right, there we go. Then this guy died with a smile on his face like some of the other poor people. So this is a third body. I need one more symbol to guess which demon it is. So I might as well go grab a letting strip. I also have one more uh, haunting, I think, as well. Da, da, da. why he chose Jingle Bells instead of some other song. Alright, so that's what's pointless. Bashed in the skull. Yep. Yep, not on the feet there. Those are definitely feet. Something on his back. Check his hand. Oh, we got a mole. Molly, 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 molly. Boop, boop. All right, Augustus Lindsay. Died at 53 with a rash on his head and keratosis on his right arm and a mole on his left arm. Okay, that was a skitter, skitter, skitter right there. Just come and sniff your feet, come and sniff your feet. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Okay. Grab this letting strip. Maybe I'll find the next symbol. I wish they would stop turning out the fucking lights. <laughs> Probably like the most annoying thing. Next to everything else. Turn out the fucking lights. Uh, okay, so it was this, it was this, da da dum 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 da dum 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 There we are. Now I need my eye cap. Yes, Daddy. What do you need, Daddy? Rebecca. Yes, Daddy, I'm coming. What if I don't? Are you gonna drag me down there? In here, Rebecca. This is my third haunting. In here, Rebecca. <laughs> All right, fine. What if I don't? What if I just leave it open? Is something gonna come out? Oh, beep. <laughs> beep, beep, beep.
Yeah, the rum chata is made from demons. Or possessed people. Oh, wait. Wait, there's something in here. I don't get this one a lot. But I do remember that there's something in one of these. That's the code. That's the code for the, uh, the thing. Blech. Because they have numbers on them. I'm going to go back. Since I do know what it is. Hmm. Which one of these bodies? Did I just check them all? Yeah, definitely one of these bodies has a key in their mouth, and I missed it. Yeah, really? Hmm. Did I miss one over here? Oh, no. Ah, wait, I did miss you. Oh, Kevin! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, it's you! <laughs> that was the first time that's ever happened. So that took me by surprise. Everything up until now, I have not, I have seen, but that I had not seen before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where was your Santa hat, Kevin? Oh my god. All right. Do you? Is it in there? No. Did I check you? Hmm. I feel like I checked all the bodies except for fucking Kevin. Maybe it's in one of their hands. Kevin strikes again. <laughs> All this time I said I was like, he ain't made an appearance. He's taking a night off. And then there he is. In a spot that I'd never seen him before. I did not, was not expecting that. And that's one of the reasons I like this game so much. Things you don't expect. So where the fuck is the key? It's supposed to be in their mouth. One of their mouths. Maybe in the hand? <laughs> also, sorry, headphone users. I know I scream pretty loud. Open. Just open for me. <laughs> I didn't miss any. You? Let's go through them. We're gonna have to go through them again. You? Nothing in your mouth. Nothing in your mouth. Nothing that was in your mouth. Oh, oh, okay. This is a little different. There it is. That is different. He's added some things. 
He has definitely added a few things here, because that was never there. I'd never seen that body there before. And here we go. Red-eyed daddy. They're like, you're going to get possessed, and you're just going to be the next delicious beverage for pretzel daddy here. And delicious num-nums. Dead and forgotten. Oop. God, I love this game. <laughs> Sorry. Has to be this way. Buried alive. So just for all the hell of it, and I know exactly what that scene was for, we're going to go back and get that key to go back down into the basement. Maybe. We're going to go back down in there. I got to go get my other key first. Make it around in this dark ass. Oh my god. Ah, there's a car and there's a snowman. Okay. Thank goodness this building is not that big. Alright, let's do this before... I still got some stuff to do, but I got time. That was the third haunting. She'll keep talking if I go back down there. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, it was really rude of me. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that was fun. There we go. Maybe a new haunting will happen again. All right, so going back to work. Hi, caps. That's what I was doing. Open, open. Boop, boop, bop, and bop. Right. Now the pump. Maldehyde. Fuck off, Becky. And that. Uh, oh, this over here. And then that. Oh, right. I still have to find my other symbol. All right, my fourth symbol. What? The door is open. That we did. Right, this might be in a drawer. Ah, there it is. Okay. Now, um, 
Oh, yeah, I need this stuff. I already have one of those. Thanks. I'm glad. Good. Okay. Grab that. So what? Oh, scalpel. Bitch, where are you trying to go? You trying to leave? There's two doors. Oh, bitch. That and that and that. And while that's going on, let's go ahead and find out what demon this is. Okay. So we'll start with Emolition. Got the L. Alright, no, I did never have the gangster symbol. H, never had the gangster symbol. Never had the Capricorn symbol. Okay, so it's not that. Wait, that sounds gonna get on my nerves. We'll come back to that. So it's none of these guys. I think this was the symbol that was in her, her dream. So it might be one of these dudes. Okay. L. Nope. None of these guys, because none of these guys have the bong. Or maybe this was the symbol that was there. I wasn't taking note of what that symbol was. Alright, so the bong. Check. The H. Check. The weird check mark. Check. And the L. Check. Alright, so it is Barakeith. That is who this is. Now, what body is the demon attached to? I'm glad I got this one. No, Granny. What's wrong, Rebecca? <laughs> Don't be afraid of your friends. Yee! <laughs> Every other time I had that scene, I only had it during the Halloweens special and I could never actually see her because he had all these streamers hanging from the ceiling. So I was like, oh, this is a perfect opportunity. All right, so I'm gonna take that, seal that up. The music means I'm actually running out of time. So I need to fill this bag. Now that I know which demon it is. So we gotta push fast and in a hurry. And if I run out of time, she's just gonna get possessed. Get in there. she sounds. Look at his belly button. It's so wide. Happy holiday. Alright, and now mix the cleaners. Okay. 
demon was just like, I'm just gonna waste your time. Applying <laughs> moisture. Oh, I can't do that until... Alright, so who had the most hauntings? That is the one that had the demon. But I only saw Santa in the window one time. And usually the body is also the one that is attached to the demon, the body that moves. Now the other bodies move. So, I'm going to say it's Santa. If it's not, then we get to watch Pretzel Daddy get turned into a pretzel. All right. All right. go that out of the way we're gonna prep it right here for mr santa it's the chris of the kringle okay and i gotta go and mark my symbol or get my mark that's what it's called all right So that goes there. The bong goes here. This thing, check with the thing goes there and the H goes there. And take the mark. Let's go get Santa. Obviously the demon would be attached to Santa. Santa was the only one that moved and Santa came out of the thing and all kinds of stuff. Burn Santa. Didn't say anything. Fuck. Oh, he's not close enough. Okay. There we go. A for action. Stand back and see. See if I big did it right. Get to watch Santa go up in flames. Man, I could go for a motherfucking pretzel too. One of them Auntie Annie ones or one of those carnival style ones. I fucking want a pretzel. Shit, I love pretzels. Pretzels and cheese. Pretzels and pepperoni. Shit, motherfucking pretzels are good. Casually watching this demon catch on fire. Fuck up the gurney. He thought, he thought he had me off, had me got distracted. Thought the time limit would go out. Hello. Your leader. <laughs> what you've been doing is monstrous. I've said already that I've had to accept everything about myself, just like you do. This is a necessary evil. Sick. She's down there right now, just suffering for no reason. Valerie is not down there. Not any longer. She's been gone for years. You don't know that. You're just gonna let her stay there. You don't know what she's feeling. You are torturing her. She's helping me survive. She's helping us survive. Without her, there's no reagent. Without the reagent, his belt buckle is purple. Nothing. <laughs> he pimping. You have a chance at life. <laughs> Choice, just like I did. What choice? Keep her alive to just 
leader over and over again to save ourselves? Yes. If she can't be saved, end the torture. But she's down there suffering for your own gain. My gain? My gain. You used her too. It didn't stop you from finishing the job. You used her blood anyway. When it came down to it, you chose survival, just like I did. I can't kill her, Rebecca. I know it's the right thing to do for her. I know. She isn't the only one. What? I've seen many experience what you did. None have survived. I've watched them degrade and suffer until they're no longer themselves. I didn't know what else to do. I might get a pretzel tomorrow. Pretzel sound real good. For years to find a way to reverse them. All I found was the way to prevent more. Isn't that better than nothing? I've killed them all. This one horrible thing has prevented me from having to take any more life. I would choose that again and again. I can't live with any more death than I already do. I've made peace with it. The choice is yours if you can too. I'll see you tomorrow. So dramatic. So very dramatic, but hey, I got a good ending or whether I mean she didn't get possessed and she didn't turn him into a pretzel. I guess that's considered a good ending. We're going to do one real the Brian, Brian Clark. <laughs> I'm going to do one more because I just want to see him get turned into a pretzel. Dun, 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 One more. Then I'm going to take a short break, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to work on some stuff. Because that was... Oh, yeah, that was an hour. That was an hour. But I'm not feeling tired yet. So... Grab them keys. And let's go to work. You know what? Rebecca is fucking sick and tired of your bullshit, Raymond. It's time for a pretzel. Angrily slam the door. Run into work. Knock over all his shit. Fuck your shit, Raymond. Fuck your jingle bells. Fuck out of here. Don't even give a shit. Wait, I need the gurney. I can't just lift the body up. Look, the moisturizing pads are on the bottom of the thing. Here. What's this name? Donnie? Okay. Taking you, old lady. Ah. Why does it keep doing that? I don't have my clipboard. Do you really need your clipboard for this? I don't think you do. There we go. Gonna be all like you burned the wrong body, you chose the wrong demon. Nah. Let's watch him get turned into a pretzel. Don't forget your tokens. Nope, I'm not getting the tokens. I'm not getting embalming any shits. Rebecca is sick and tired of Mr. Raymond, whatever his name is. Bullshit. It's time to get possessed. Uh, he might actually lock her in the basement on this one. 
<laughs> he might be like, oh, well, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was this ending. We're gonna try again. I want to see him get turned into a fucking pretzel. Look at the look he gives her. <laughs> He's just like, I'm so disappointed. We just had a really deep talk about this. <laughs> you chose the wrong demon. Bum, 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 bum. Just like all the, his other game, I think this is actually her own personal hell. Go to work, embalm bodies, fight demons. Ooh, I got cookies. Ooh, I got cookies. Mmm. They're not just cookies, they're ginger snap. grab this one. Oh, that's Santa again. No, we're not burning Santa again. <laughs> Should I at least embalm the body? I'm not gonna embalm the body. Oh, work smooth now, huh? There we go. Gonna burn this guy. Not gonna talk? I don't think I've actually done it without embalming a body before, but just putting the mark on it. I know I've done the body and then put a mark on it and it was the wrong demon. Ah, oh, nope. Same thing. I have to at least embalm a body. She's gonna end up in the basement again. Dover? <laughs> Push. <laughs> the look he gives her is just so, like, disappointing, but also at the same time, he's just like, God damn it. <laughs> Should have put that over here. I did not. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go take a break and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna draw. I'm having a blast. Great time. I'm having a super duper great time. Having an awesome time, actually. One would even be so bold as to say that I am having a super duper time.
To be honest, my good at letting down my guard. I really want it. For you, I was running in the dark. When you said this was goodbye, that's when I realized I can't live without, I can't live without you. I want you and only you. I got nothing left to lose. Oh. And I am back. I am absolutely 100% back. And I, while I was gone, saw that it flashed across my chat that I reached 50 followers, which is super duper great. So whoever you are who just subscribed to me, thank you very, very much. I was not expecting that to happen whatsoever, ever at all. So I'm, I'm thrilled about this. This is, this is great. This is awesome. So I really appreciate it and I'm glad that everybody likes hanging out with me and watching me and chilling with me while I'm just doing my thing and so thanks super duper thanks hello so glad that you followed me thank you 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 that is awesome that's great I appreciate you I appreciate you so much that being said I'm gonna go right back into doing what I was doing All right, so today we're going back to this guy. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you could be here for it. Going back to working on this guy. I'm going to finish him up. Well, no, I'm obviously not going to finish him up, but oh, I'm actually really excited. I got 50 followers. That's crazy. I'm doing super duper great. How are you doing? Glad that you found me how did you find me did you would i just pop up did you are you on my facebook you're on my twitter i'm genuinely curious how this happened because this was not something i was expecting whatsoever i wait 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 okay cats cats have my cats are everywhere all right so we're gonna go ahead and stick him in a folder all on his own and do that bizarre thing is i'm going to be streaming for two hours 
and it's gonna be a lot found you randomly and i like following small streamers oh well thank you i appreciate it i really do the smallest of this small i'll just start with something like that and i wonder if i actually even need this here not here that yeah don't need you yet okay yeah we'll work like that that'll be better less distractions where did my music go let's turn that up a little bit so yeah so i was on facebook five seconds ago i'm like all right i'm gonna go pee so let me check my facebook and there is just a whole bunch of crazy fucking shit going on over there apparently there is some person going around taking people's shit and trying to resell it and by shit i mean like their characters and stuff and i'm like the fuck y'all worried about this little small fry but i don't know i guess they're over on amino apps and they're just selling stuff to kids i have no idea what the fuck is going on so i just said all right well i'm done peeing so now it's time to get back to having a little bit of fun it was really fucking weird i don't know what's going on over there but i'm sure somebody will catch me up when i actually take the time to look into whatever is going on so let's see we'll start with these and this face is gonna have some shadow there then a little shadow here And since we're going to do a clipping mask, it doesn't matter. There we go. The light's going to be kind of over here, but its hair is also going to be there. And we're coming down over here. Something like that. Obviously, most of all of this is going to be in shadow. And, oh, don't need that. This is mostly also all going to be in shadow. And so is that. Creases here. Again, don't gotta worry about putting it inside the lines because it's not gonna stay like this. the easiest part is laying down the shadows or where the shadows are gonna lay like this is just the map of where i'm gonna put things give me the impression that i won't scratch your surface that and i could walk for days this in there searching for the place but is it even there to find and although that mortuary assistant update that was kind of cool putting sand in the grave
that did just come out. You know what? After I'm done with my hour of streaming this, I'm probably going to watch a movie if I'm still feeling like it. Because I still wanted to draw Sybil in her outfit for Christmas since I did everybody else. I did Terry, I did Desra, I did Auntie Moo, I did Roxy, I did... I think that was it. But she needs some love. She needs a Christmas outfit. She doesn't wear anything but black, so I found a nice cute black one. Not that I was actively looking for one, it just showed up on my Facebook feed. Oh, I guess a bunch of people who are also on Facebook are having this little problem with this person. And they're like, oh my god, I'm leaving Facebook. It's not safe. People are stealing my characters. I don't know. I have no idea. All my characters are fucking copyrighted, so good luck with that one. dog's barking about uh oh miss some lines here that's better oh dear Pretty boy decided that he was going to go ahead and assault his brother and close them in the bathroom. Whatever. The fun part about my little dog is that he likes to alert me when the cats are fighting and when I can't hear them fighting. He's just kind of like going off and I'm like, what's now? And then he just stops. He's like, okay, that's handled. I did my part. He needs to feel like he has a job. And his job is to, I guess, manage the cats. Yeah, I'm liking that. Um, the glass is gonna be on its own. I think for the background. I'll worry about the glass later because that's going to be a whole ass different thing. <laughs> I was watching some of my previous streams and I was like, why is the quality so fucking bad? And then I was remembered the thing about OBS and how you got to adjust like the resolution. I was like, oh, like it was just really interesting watching my little my little bit of growth through 15 or so videos and now I'm like where I am and I got all this cool little gadgety stuff around and one day I'm gonna have like little animations and stuff pop up when something cool happens like all the really really cool streams I'm excited I'm excited for the future I hope I can keep it up I've been doing it this far but I did take like a week break because I got kind of tired and I was like, I just don't feel like interacting with anybody like ever. And that was during like the change of the seasons. And I guess probably sometimes that happens. No, I can't say probably. I know that happens. That absolutely fucking happens with me. Sometimes I'll be like, damn, I really want to hang out with somebody today. And of course, I don't have a lot of friends because I'm extremely flaky because they'll say, hey, let's hang out. And I'll be like, I can't do it today. I don't feel like it. Or, hey, I'm having a party. Why don't you come on by? I really don't like 90% of your friends. It's just, 
sometimes I feel really, really social and I have nobody to hang out with and I can stream and it's talk to air or talk to whoever is listening. And it's nice. Like right now I'm feeling super duper social, but once again, I have anyone to invite over to hang out. And the only person that I usually do hang out with on Fridays is out of town at an indoor water park. So I'm like, why not? Let's stream. I had a pretty easy day. We're going to stream some mortuary assistant. We're going to stream some arts. We are stream, stream, streaming. And I want to probably do this for maybe like another 45 minutes and see how far I get. And then I am going to DTFO. <laughs> I can't believe I actually hit 50 streamers. 50 streamers, my god. 50, 50 subscribers. That's really cool. Super duper cool. I remember one time when I was just kind of teetering between like 46 and 47 or 47 and 48 and it was just like one person would join and then another person would like leave and then one person would join and another person would like leave and I'm like who are you people leaving where are you going and why are you leaving and then at the same time I'm just like all right whatever they're lost so let's see what happens next okay getting a little haywire here with the shadows on the hair and I didn't put any on the back here even though you won't really be able to see this like that much unless I lighten up his hair a bit. But I will put this down just to see what it looks like. Destiny's keeping us way too far apart. Every time I get too close, I fall apart. Ooh, I changed for the better. Then I gotta clean the cat boxes. Oh, I did that earlier. Radical. And then we'll do one of these. And then we'll do one of these. Uh oh. One of these. Right now, let's refine these shadows a little bit more. Just a touch. I am absolutely going to do tutorials again one day, and I know I keep saying that, but I really want to. But I feel like in order to make a successful tutorial, I'm going to need like questions and shit. Which is one of those reasons I couldn't be a teacher. I remember when I was in school, nobody ever asked any fucking questions. And the teacher just stood there like, I fucking don't like any of you. So I'm like, I'm the type of person who, if you need, I want questions. I mean, I could just throw out random shit and be like, oh yeah, this is this tool I'm using. And oh yeah, you want to always make sure you do this, that, and the other. And then just kind of like, hope somebody knows what, what's going on. Otherwise, I would need questions. I know some of my followers on Twitter and some on Facebook were asking, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? And I'm like, join my fucking stream and ask the goddamn question. And then maybe you can find out. And some of them joined. Some of them didn't. Either way, I could type out a tutorial, but I really don't want to do that. <laughs> It's just not on my top of my priority to do something like that. If I had a little bit more time, I would. Because I know a lot of people say they have trouble with lighting. And a lot of people say they have trouble with where to put stuff. And it's just like, I'm like, it's really fucking simple. If you think about it in a three-dimensional space, you can easily tell where the light's going to fall. But that's just how my brain functions, I guess. I don't know. And then, of course, it came with some stuff that I learned in school. I made some really beastin' ass chicken. Unfortunately, I did not know what I was actually putting in my chicken mix, like my chicken breading. 
I just kind of tossed a bunch of stuff in there that I thought was going to be good and it turned out to actually be good and I don't know what it was but it was absolutely phenomenal and now I can never replicate it again. Honestly I didn't think it was going to be that good but it was nice and spicy, full of flavor, full of magic, pure happiness, utter bliss and I was just like oh no I am never going to be able to do this again I know it. But I did jot down a couple of things on how I want to make some chicken. And all that jazz. Okay. Tommy. I still want to draw this character with Terry. I almost want to draw this character just kind of like meeting Terry and just being like, hey, uh, what's up? You look like really pretty. I don't know. I haven't figured out what it is that I actually want them to be doing. Maybe I'll ask the person who owns this character and be all like, what would you want to do aside from fucker? Because everybody wants to fuck Terry. Bottom. Okay. Pretty snazzy. Countdown, we're gonna do it probably about 15 more minutes, and I think in that 15 minutes I can blend some of this. Come on. Yeast, yeast, yeast. Yeah. 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 All right. So let's start doing the fun stuff. Okay. Got a text message. Gonna ignore that for now. Important. Oop. Wrong thing. Um. Not that one. This one. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna look good. Yeah. Doing the hair is so much fun. I was just like really quiet for a minute because there's going to be a point where I, I know there's going to be a point where I'm doing this and I'm going to forget that I'm streaming. And I've, it's actually happened in the past, but I never really mentioned it. It's when I get super quiet and I haven't said anything for a minute and I'm just like, wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, boy. Yes, yes, yes. Also, my pencil, my Apple pencil, um, I was kind of freaking out before with the cat that just really chomped into it. But it stopped after I did the 16 or 18 update or whatever it was. So maybe it wasn't the cats at all. Maybe it was just my software that needed updating. Which is weird that the hardware is tripping balls because the software wasn't working when the, my hardware is actually older than this iPad that I have here. But I don't know. I'm no expert in these things. Seems a little odd to me. All right, so now let's trim that down a little. Oop, not white, I don't need white. We're not doing that part yet. I got a lot of encouragement for some from some people on Facebook to get back into making my comics. And 
I don't know if I'm gonna ever actually do that or not. I would love to. Probably if I just decide that I'm gonna stop taking commissions, I might get back into doing comics. It was it was fun. It was really fun bringing my little world to, to life, especially Leona's world because her world was so messed up. And she was a really messed up character. But she was the main character and it's like, that was one of the reasons people didn't like the story because she was a villain and she did villain things. She was not an anti-villain. She was not like, oh, I'm doing this for the greater good or anything like that. She was a villain, straight up fucking villain. And I mean, she had her reasons for being a villain as all villains do, but in her case, she was part of a people. Now this is a, a sci-fi story. It was a sci-fi story. So humans decided that they were gonna go out in outer space in this story. So they go out in the outer space, they think they're hot shit and they think that they're the only life in the, in the fucking you in the galaxy for some goddamn reason. And they get to this planet and they're called Cybiotes. And they get to this planet and they're like, oh wow, this is crazy. Look at all these fucking people here. And then they realize that these people are far stronger than they are. They have more technology than they do. And they try to strike a deal with these people to say, hey, we come in peace and we want to share resources. And the Cybiotes are like, yeah, sure, let's share some fucking resources. But then the humans get a little crazy because Earth starts dying and they want to move to the Cybiote nation and they can't. There's just not enough room for 82 trillion people who are on the planet at the time in my universe. So they get angry and they go to war and the Cybiotes actually lose because of a virus that the humans develop that can hurt their species and their species gets um, destroyed. Their species is basically gets wiped out and the humans take over their planet. So this character, Leona, she is one of the survivors of the race and she's become a terrorist who is out to destroy humanity and everybody who's involved with humanity. And people just didn't like that. They didn't like that idea. They were like, oh, she should be trying to save her species. And I'm like, she doesn't give a fuck about that. She is over that. She has grown in a type of environment that is just not positive about her or humans or humanity or anything. So she then goes to Earth. She ends up crashing on Earth and she's like, really she's like a teenager and you love the idea thank you and she's uh she's just a mean ass bitch i mean she is mean and she's had a hard fucking life and she just wants to watch the world burn so when she actually gets to earth it's on earth 2 back then and when i made this in 2016 it was called earth 2 but i might change the name if i do decide to redo the story i might change it to something else but she gets to Earth 2 because Earth 1 became overpopulated and Earth 2 ends up being the former Cybiote Nation. So she ends up there. She meets this other person and he ends up joining forces with her. And she's just sort of like, okay, well, he hates humans too. So maybe he's not so bad, even though she doesn't like him anyway. She doesn't like anybody. Oh, smoking. Smoking. I woke up smoke. <laughs> so anyway, the whole thing is her going through the cosmos galaxy or whatever it was that i had back then and she's just sort of like fighting this galactic force that's trying to stop her because she ends up getting like other people who don't like the invasive species that humans are and they team up with her and they're just like hey lead us to victory with this, these fucking psychopaths she ends up getting this really cool spaceship that was developed by humans that is just this full blown um, artificial intelligence. Like it feels, it thinks, everything. And it was just a prototype when she found it. So it's not fully functional. So when she has it, it has like its problems. It's got like its nooks and it's got like its issues. So she's not completely unstoppable. And obviously in this galaxy, she needs money. So she does a lot of theft and she does a lot of odd jobs and it just surrounds her and all of her horribleness. And back in 2016, people did not like that. And I mean, people, I mean, I don't have a lot of followers. I never have. And I think I had maybe a hundred people reading this story and I got more negative comments than I got like positive comments. And it was just really, really discouraging. 
And so I just ended up dropping the project and I'm like, all right, well, you know what? Fine. That's it. I finished writing the story. I have it all written out, all the scripts, everything that I was going to do. And I just have to draw it out and maybe redo it. But I don't know. I had some people say, hey, I would love to read it. I'd like to see it and all this other stuff. And I'm like, if you saw all the stuff that she did, you would not you. You might think that the same thing the other people did because she was not nice. It was a lot of fun. I might do it just because anyway, because fuck them. I'm in a much more fuck it mood than I used to be back then. Because back then I was like, oh, I don't want to upset too many people. And because I really do want this to get traction and I want people to like it. And nobody liked it. Well, some people liked it, but not enough people liked it, if that makes any sense. So if I stop taking commissions, I might invest some time in redoing it. I also had a little drama with like the person that helped me write the story. I mean, I wrote 90% of the story myself, but they also kind of contributed a little bit. And then we had a falling out and a little weird ass drama, but I'm over that. I've been over that, but either way, that was part of it too. You love upsetting people. <laughs> That's funny. With that particular thing, I did not want to upset people. I wanted them to like my work. If it's just some random person on the internet, yeah, I kind of agree with you. It's fun upsetting people sometimes. But I really wanted that to be enjoyed. And I'm like, why wouldn't you want to enjoy the story? All the stories that are out there are all about the fucking hero all the damn time. Oh, and there was a hero. A hero. There was somebody who was going to stop her, quote unquote, but he didn't. He doesn't stop her. He's just literally a pest. And he was hired by the humans <laughs> agency because no one else can stop her. It was just so wild. It was wild. And now I'm thinking about it. I had a lot of fun writing it. And I had a lot of fun developing her, her character and her attitude. Her name was Leona. And the story was called Los Esmeraldas. And I think it's still published on Tapas. I, it might not be. I don't know if they took it down or not. But what I did create is still up there and I only made like three issues of it I guess you could say yeah and then I had this other story called God Town which was a magic girl story and that was kind of all over the place because I didn't know where I was really going with it and I know I wanted a magic girl story and I said you know what now is the fucking time and I didn't exactly write it out all the way I wrote out some of it and I wrote out an ending, but I didn't really write how they got to that ending. And that one only went by the wayside because I didn't actually finish the story. And then I just like gave up. So now I have another story I'm writing because I like to write. I love writing and creating things no matter how fucking garbage it is. Now I have a story that follows all my furry OCs and it is just all over the goddamn place. I mean, at one point my main character is a doctor and then he ends up the king of Africa or king of a king of a tribe in Africa. And it's just like, literally I'm all over the place. <laughs> Absolutely all over the place. Writing is fun. I like writing. I might end up writing before I go to bed. Okay, so let's see what this is looking like so far. Grab that, grab that. Oh, gotta put something over there on that side. I see that looks really empty. It's over here. Like that. Yeah. And then we'll probably match sides with this wrinkle here. better okay so we're gonna go back here drop that down do multiply that yes yes I love it I think it's looking really good I like that yeah yeah I'm digging it I'm gonna save that This is exactly what I pictured this looking like so far. But 
take those colors off and keep on trucking because now make that a little tinier so the one character that i would like to draw with this person's oc is named terry and she is an arctic fox she is an escort but there are other aspects to her aside from that such as the fact she likes to bake and not that that really fucking matters apparently because no one gives a shit about that anytime i mention her it's just like oh my god her tits are huge and holy shit she's an escort it's fuck so maybe i'll draw them doing something other than fucking because she likes comics and she likes baking and she likes hanging out with her friends she likes shopping she obviously she likes money and all kinds of stuff and i like putting her in situations that are out of her like zone out of her stereotypical big titty zone which is just this just this thing don't mind don't, don't get me wrong she's got a lot of porn but i also would like to maybe one day draw her baking a pie for somebody just because it would be wholesome so maybe she'll be baking a pie for mr tommy here And maybe the pie will say her cash out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. But I do def I do want to draw this character again because he's he's really cool. Am I cool? I mean I really like the way he looks. Okay. I'll go work on something for work. Put a movie on in the background. Like I did some stuff earlier. And I stopped. And then I got an email and they were like, hey, did you finish that thing? And I was like, oh, no, I didn't. Don't worry, you'll get it. You'll get it this weekend. So I guess I could finish that up. I'm liking it so far. Mm. Yeah, he looks good. He's gonna look great when I finish him. All right, this is this is epic. I like it. So far, I have been streaming for exactly two hours and 51, 52, 53. 54 55 seconds and with that i think i am going to go ahead and log off decompress clean out the cat boxes get myself something to eat and watch a movie and maybe drink a little who knows what i'm going to do next but thank you so much for tuning in and watching me this evening thank you i'm the naysayer for becoming my 50th subscriber i'm very excited to have you here and i hope you come back and join me during stream i have a very odd schedule i'm usually streaming all the time on mondays at 7 30 eastern standard time but the rest of the week is always up in the air but mondays are usually a given so again thank you so much and if you missed the beginning of this hour of the stream it's going to be on my youtube and i'm going to upload that there so that's in my whatever so yeah anyway i'm off thank you again for joining me and i had a blast super awesome hanging out with you guys 